A jury will soon decide the fate of a teenager accused of gunning down a St. Petersburg police officer last year. Nicholas Lindsay's defense says it was an accident and he is only guilty of manslaughter, not first degree murder. Eric Waxler is live at the courthouse where both sides finished calling witnesses today. Good evening, Eric. Hi, Linda. The jury was sent home early today, a few hours ago. When they come back tomorrow morning, they will hear closing arguments and then begin deliberations. Both sides called their final witnesses today, and now really it's up for the jury to decide whether or not they believe Nicholas Lindsay intended to kill Officer David Crawford. Nicholas Lindsay's parents were the only two witnesses called by the defense. His father had hoped his own criminal past would discourage the teen from getting into trouble. But now Lindsay could spend the rest of his life in prison. Do you believe he's responsible for shooting Officer Crawford? Yes. Both say they knew their son was lying when he first told them he didn't shoot Officer David Crawford. They are credited with eventually getting him to confess. He was scared. He was very sincere. I've never seen him cry like that before. He, he was just like a, a newborn baby. I mean, scared and, and almost in a fetal position. And he said that he did not want to die. Okay. He thought he was going to die. The defense says Lindsay's first shot went off accidentally, and as Officer Crawford pulled his gun out, the teen panicked and fired more. It's okay, but it's okay. His parents say they believe he is sorry for what happened that night. Apologize, all of us. And it, did he also apologize to the detective that he was talking to about the fallen officer? Yes. The defense also tried to paint a picture of the kind of violence Lindsay dealt with every day. His mother talked about the constant threat he faced from neighborhood rivals. They said they were going to get him wherever they saw him at. She also said gunfire in their Bethel Heights neighborhood was common, and she's had to teach all her kids how to deal with it. Any part of the room they're in, they know, they know to get down on the floor, out of their beds and on the floor. We also heard from the medical examiner who talked in graphic detail about Officer Crawford's gunshot wounds. It was during that testimony Crawford's widow was overcome with emotion and had to leave the courtroom. Before resting their case, the defense confirmed that Nicholas Lindsay would not take the stand in his own defense. Again, the jury will come back tomorrow, and they are expected to begin deliberating in this case. Live at the Pinellas County Courthouse, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.